New Friends, Pandemic Diaries, Episode 3 Some tulips look like flames, blazing their fiery excellence into the world. I never paid much attention to flowers, despite spending hours upon hours studying them, drawing them, and pondering their structural meaning. Back in the day, I deemed them quite unnecessary, cliched, overrated. I stuck tiny paper copies of pressed and dried blossoms on my face and hid in the cellar, next to chopped wood and our heavy axe. I hid my dreams and hopes in tiny paper boxes, matchboxes, awaiting to be set ablaze, burn up, be free, live free, forever. The winter nights spent on tracing the lines behind my eyes, rolling back, going white, I'd done this in another body, dark lines enclosing my physical shape from within and without. I knew you'd never see rose-coloured set in the way I do now, an acute prison, the destruction of the self, yet the only refuge of innocence. It's always about being aware of your body beneath the sheets, isn't it? Sprawled out, or softened from dreaming, quite forgetting about all else in the world. Fallen into blissful oblivion. A gentle body, basking in the warmth that is still there. I guess I get it now. The thing about sleeping. Maybe they all seem to still crave this feeling of gentleness, so far removed from the proceedings out there, where all is fast-paced and rarely quiet. I had always turned my face towards the cold wind and embraced the challenge. Comfort was never an option in the long run. Everyone is baking bread these days. What's that all about? Banana bread is the only song I listen to while braving the island and tied up with thoughts about your last touch. And that was neither okay then, nor is it now. I try to think of other things than what I already know is broken in the world. Times like these don't deign to give us much room for illusions any longer. I'd quite stopped dreaming some time ago, when things no longer aligned with the script. We'd gone off kilter, you see. Seemed like all was falling apart. The mental connections severed and frayed at the ends. Not even stitching like hell would be bringing them back together. Tiny demons fluttering in through the windows, delighting in the warm air of early spring days. Settling on the foot of my bed like it was any of their business. Whispering words like they knew the answers. Acting all entitled as if they knew what's up. It's been years down the drain. Years living as a hologram. No reflection would have done me the favor of showing me my true self. No river to carry me away. To far off lands where none of this would matter. No lake to hide the horrors of my past and present. No body of water big enough for this overflowing cup of emotions. It's odd now I come to think of it. I don't remember crying. Okay, we got this, we got this, we got this. We got this. <laughs> we got this. <sighs> hmm. Tough face. Okay, okay, okay. We rolling, I guess we're rolling, unless we're just like full on rolling right now. Oh my gosh. We're filming. We're filming. You need to leave.